And this is the reason. Greetings, my name is Harry Hayden. I'm the owner of Blades of Glory and the founder of our Mace Sword Fighting System. Welcome to our Mace page. So why don't we thrust or grapple? There's all kinds of different types of sword fighting. When we first started out, we were very similar to LARP or SCA. Um, our swords we made ourselves are made of wooden dowel and uh, they had um, um, inserted into a black pipe and then we had foam wrap that went around them and then we wrapped them in duct tape. So that's how we first started. And um, the issue was, is that because they were not quote real swords, uh, we had absolutely no respect for them whatsoever. And we had an awful lot of injuries because of them or because of that. So why don't we thrust and grapple? Uh, specifically, a very simple answer. It's, it's just due to injury. Um, there's been some um, infamous cases around the world, uh, one on the west coast of the states uh, a couple years ago where an instructor had stabbed, in, in HEMA training, had stabbed a newer student uh, into the eye and the blade went into the brain. Um, about 10 years ago in Toronto, Canada, they were doing an armored, um, armored combat um, tournament. And I think it's the first match, um, one person thrusted the other uh, armored fighter and the sword slid um, underneath the chain mail, underneath his gambeson in, on his arm, but it slid all the way up his arm into his armpit and blade poked into his clavicle. Um, that's another one. Uh, I went to um, a workshop uh, in Toronto back in 2001. It was all about armored fighting. And uh, three of the instructors that were supposed to be there didn't show up all due to injury. Uh, they couldn't make it. So one had been picked up and suplexed into the ground. They thought he was paralyzed. He wasn't, thank God. Um, another one had uh, a staff thrusted into his uh, sternum and it broke. And there's another instructor there as well, or was supposed to be there and uh, didn't show up due to injury as well. So I know in Toronto, um, we were the first group that um, got to perform at the museum after that incident where the person got stabbed um, or thrusted. And uh, we went in in 2013 and then again in 2019 as well. We have had injuries over the years. Uh, in the last like seven or eight years, we've only had two broken fingers by the same person actually, of all things. Other than that, just bruising, um, which happens in any sport whatsoever. Um, we're not historical, but basically no one is. Um, you know, each of the different sword fighting groups, um, uh, they have safety rules put in place. So, for instance, LARP, they use foam swords. SCA uses rattan swords. And the reason why they use rattan swords is so uh, when it does break, it doesn't splinter. It kind of mushes and stuff. But again, due to safety. Um, fencing, they have um, uh, blunted tips and also electronic uh, scoring system as well. You don't want to stab someone and injure them. Uh, Vikings, their sword, various different types of Viking groups have blunted swords as well. Um, HEMA, if you follow HEMA or do HEMA, practitioner of HEMA, um, again, it's a blunted edge um, in addition to having a rolled over tip or having a rubber tip that fits over the end of your sword, again, for trying to prevent injuries. Um, Buhurd or ACL, HMB, uh, they go by different names depending on what area of the world you're in. Um, again, they have heavier or thicker swords uh, and blunted as well. Same idea, and they don't do thrusting either, um, again, specifically for injuries. because the swords aren't sharp. Um, because when the swords come together, uh, the bind acts uh, differently if it's blunted or if it's sharp. No group is uh, historical, 100%, um, that's for sure, except for there's a group in Germany that uses um, sharp swords. And um, um, it's pretty interesting because to me, sharp swords leads to an awful lot of injuries. And uh, what group would want to do that? Basically, 
they sew themselves up a bunch of times and they even state that uh, two of their members have died. Um, so, you know, doing a hobby, doing a sport, who wants to end up dying in the process of doing that? So in our system, not only do we not do thrusting and grappling, um, one of the things I, I want to see personally is a sword fight. Because a lot of times if you see historical sword fights, it starts off as a sword fight, then turns into a wrestling match, and then someone tosses one person on the ground, and then you pull a dagger and you know, stab him in the eye or something to end the, end the fight. Um, the way we do our fight, though, our system is set up where it's a time fight. So you throw someone on the ground, stab him in the, in the eye, well, that's kind of cool, but there's still another minute and a half to fight. So we don't do that. Um, what I want to see in a sword fight, I want to see a sword fight. I don't want to see a wrestling match. I don't want to see someone throwing people around. Uh, to me, the idea is, can you showcase the skill of the sword that you have? You know, just because you can pick someone up and throw them around doesn't mean you're a good sword fighter. It means you're a good wrestler or, <laughs> or choose your perfect time to go in and, and grab the person. That's excellent. But that's not a sword fight. Um, I want to see sword skill, not only on attack, but also on defense as well. Do you have the ability to, as someone goes on a flurry of like five strikes or six strikes, can you block them all? And can you not only block them, but can you actually return a strike and get a, uh, get a point in there as well? To me, that's, that's something to marvel at. That shows huge amount of skill. Um, not just grab someone, throw them on the ground. That's also skill, not sword fighting skill though. Um, our system is uh, just duels. There's only one-on-one. -on -one. Every match is like that. Why do we only do duels and do not have more than one versus one in fights? Again, simple answer, safety. As soon as you start adding more people in, guarantee there's a higher risk of injury that comes along with that. One-on-one, um, -on -one, at least you can focus on the person in front of you. You don't get blindsided from someone doing a drop kick from behind or to the side. Um, so yeah, it's specifically safety and that's all. When schools come to our medieval educational entertainment park. Um, they come here to be not just educated um, and reinforcing exactly what the teachers were teaching the grade four students, uh, but also be entertained. And the last thing we want to have happen is in the middle of a show that we're performing at is having someone injured. Um, first is I don't want any of our guys injured at all, any of our people injured. Um, but also, if, if some of our sword fighters start getting injured at our, at our theme park here, uh, schools are not going to come back. They're just they're not going to. So we, are, um, we fight competitively, and we also fight uh, for entertainment at the same time. And especially when you have 10-year-old uh, students around, um, I, I don't want to have them see any of our people get injured at all. One of the driving forces to start the company was trying to um, create a spark for students to hopefully like history enough that they can research it as well. I just remember when I went to school in elementary school and secondary school, I couldn't stand history. It was taught, the teaching of it was so dry. Um, it just, I didn't like history until after I got out of, out of university. Um, but it was just, it, it, and one of the things I wanted is to try to, um, bring items to schools. Uh, when the kids come here, um, they get to see items that they normally would see in a museum, um, that would be maybe under glass or something. Some of the items we have are real. They're authentic pieces from 800 years ago. We, um, in addition to, we have some ancient Egyptian artifacts from like 4,000 years ago. Um, so the idea is, can you create that spark, um, ignite it into that student so they can hopefully like history because that, I did not get that when I was in elementary school. I would love to be here <laughs> if I was, 10 years old coming to see knights fighting that'd be amazing um wasn't around when i was a kid we are